So what's going on toxic gamers cuz today we got a massive meltdown going down in the community I mean holy smoke is it ain't no jokers, okay? Everybody's going crazy right now. We got the dustborn situation, okay? We got the concord situation. We also have a clip from Asmongold, okay? I need to show you what's going on, okay? Like the video if you think there are two genders Dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders and if you do use Twitter man I would definitely love to have you over on the Twitter as well because holy smoke is it ain't no jokers, all right? The meltdown that I'm seeing right now in the community <laughs> Everybody's looking like this. YouTubers, man, are making more money than the devs over at at, at Desmond, right? And some YouTubers as well, like the homie Young, yeah, right? Making more money than the Concord devs as well. I really cannot believe it. Shout out to the homie Smash JT. Check this out. You're not ready for this one. Roll it. I swear these developers are making my life so easy with what they're Wait doing because holy crap i couldn't make these stories up if i tried what's going on guys welcome to another episode of smash jt and dustborn the pos game that is launched to paltry numbers is in the news once again yeah this time because they were caught stealing not just assets but layouts from grand theft auto interior <sighs> designs no! of the houses and if you no! think on the surface that that's bad enough Seeing the actual developer of the game try to defend it and then offload it onto the community on Twitter as everyone else being the- Yo, where is Rockstar at? Okay, real quick. Okay, I gotta bring this up. Okay, I was waiting for this moment. This is Rockstar and this is true though. Rockstar making a game about stealing shies from people. They're happy and we love it too. Yay! You know, GTA is about that. Makes sense. Rockstar when somebody actually steals shies from them. And this is how they acted like, you know, all the way back in September of 2022 when uh, a leaker, a hacker leaked the Lucia Bruna gameplay, right? And GTA 6 gameplay. This was his wanted level. This was his wanted level. And, and you know, Rockstar, they ended up getting the aliens involved. They ended up getting the FBI involved. Where are they now, man? Are they getting ready? Are they, are they, are they getting ready to also go crazy at this morning, devs? We gotta find out. I right, wait for it. Roll it. Problem perfectly sums up exactly what's going on right now in the video game industry. Smash JT. Hit that subscribe, give me a like, and check out SmashJT.com for the full exhaustive article talking about how Dustborn was caught stealing yep. assets and layouts. Like and subscribe, guys. Like and subscribe. From Grand Theft Auto. And shout out to Hey Slick, that's me on X, who said this new Dustborn game has ripped off GTA Online, copying the apartment layout one for one. Crazy, bro. Paintings, TV, Damn. rooms, and even the small garden are the same locations. Now, the funniest thing here is that these suckers took eight years to make that game. Can you actually believe that? Bumbaka. Can you actually believe that? Like, I swear to God, these things took eight years, and apparently, Norway government uh, paid them like 150,000 euros, is what I'm hearing. Yeah, it, it's crazy. They use people tax. They they use tax money, people's taxpayers' money, taxpayers' money to fund this game. And these things took eight years to make it. Uh, of course, the game is crap, right? And, and, and filled with woke politics. And on top of that, okay, forget about the woke politics. It's it's a crap show. It's a crap show, and now what we're finding out is that they just copied and pasted from GTA, man. <laughs> like, damn, damn, I mean, damn. In Urdu, real quick, I gotta say this, okay? Are kutte deo bachyo, tanu sharam ni andi. Agar meri ye puane video vekh li na, tanu phad phad ke maar de, phad phad ke maar de. Ta da ta da ka khana re. Oh, lalat hai ta de te, oh, shabrati ho, ta lalat hai. Ye lakh di, lalat ta de te, muute, kutte. Okay, let's get into it. I, I need to get back into the character. Roll. It's so beyond unbelievable that if I didn't see these screenshots and compare them to each other, I'd think, nope, this is going to be made up. There's no way that this massive, major, double-A title Dustborn that was funded by the European Union with 150,000 pounds to pay for it. Which uh, was it pounds or euros? I thought it was euros. Okay, maybe it was pounds. Okay, if it was pounds, then damn! I mean, damn! That is crazy! Almost 200k US dollars. Can a brother get two pennies or something like that? Damn, man. They should have paid people that much to play their game, man. Like, damn, what, what were you talking about, man? Which is nearly $200,000 in USD has been used to supplement the creation of a game that stole assets and layouts from Grand Theft Auto. Take-Two isn't going to be very happy when they find out about this. Slick continued, here are extra plus high quality screenshots since the previous ones were lower quality. Okay. I took them from old videos since Damn. it's a quite old interior. And then he continued with another follow-up tweet showing even more purportedly 
copied sections and layouts of the houses. And this, I cannot stress enough, is a massive deal. Not just because the developers cut corners and were caught, but based off of how they were funded, they yeah. literally stole these assets and setups of the game from Gr Yeah, imagine, imagine uh, pulling a heist this big, right? Th this is highway robbery, bro. Daytime highway robbery. They were apparently funded by an actual government, Nor Norwegian government is what I'm hearing, right? Damn, this is crazy though. Now, you don't even have to be a Norway resident to understand how pathetic this is, right? If you're, like, no matter what country you're in, let me know where you guys are if you want to, like, what city in the comments below. I'm in Montreal, uh, Canada. Ah, way, ah, way, see. That I like to call this. Ah, way, see. Je pète de Uh, so yeah, like, it's absolutely pathetic. They these suckers use tax money man taxpayers money for example like if you're in norway right you're paying taxes they use that money yes your tax paying tax money is going to that crap oh, shit. Oh, shit. yeah like that's pathetic though this is something that i i feel like that most people can feel it right like and i agree imagine like your like yeah your government did that crap I mean, our, like, governments everywhere, like, all over the world, every country's government is corrupt, right? Oh, of course it is, right? They always do that crap, but imagine doing something like this, and imagine finding out that this is where your money is going. Pathetic, man. Absolutely pathetic, bro. Grand Theft Auto Online, taking it for their own, putting a coat of paint on top of it and calling it a day, and basically straight up stealing $200,000 in taxpayer money. Nathan Crazy. on Twitter said... If you listen carefully, you can hear the printers at Take Two's offices whirling up them DMCA <laughs> notices. And after being called out, the developer would probably come forward and come clean and say, Yeah, you got us. We cut corners. We stole these assets. I'm sorry. We're going to try to make this right somehow. How are they going to make it right? How are they going to make it right? Just remove the game, bruh. Remove. <laughs> <laughs> Remove the game, bro. But you know the funniest thing would be if Rockstar doesn't even do anything. If Take Two, I should say, not necessarily Rockstar, but imagine Take Two don't even do a single damn damn thing about it. That would be crazy, right? Because usually what these suckers like to do is that whenever there's a mod, a passionate fan, or a passionate a passionate bunch of bunch of passionate fans. When they come together make a mod right for the fans right they want to be the first to take it down right whenever a leaker so what people got to see the lucia bruna bruh so what people got to see the leak gameplay for gta 6 so what so what bro it's just gameplay dog so what y'all sick has acted like he murdered somebody man free the leaker hashtag free the leaker now i get it like he acquired it through illegal means i'm not uh celebrating that i'm not saying that he should have done that but like my point here is that these suckers acted like he leaked nasa files or something like area 51 uh, files these things got aliens involved to catch that leaker I, I wonder what they're gonna do this time right imagine imagine they do don't do anything imagine they don't do anything bro that would be crazy though no, of course they're not going to do that. They're going to go attack the gamers because that's what they always do when they get found out. Thea Berg on Twitter, aka Shit Spout, is a clear-cut crazed lunatic as you're about to see. And of course, a modern game designer at mm -hmm. Red Thread Games. She's modern displayed audience. quite the outspoken social media presence in response to all this. Attempting to painfully dismiss these claims of copying with quips and sarcasm. And failing completely. Like miserably embarrassed for all to see trying to pretend like ho-hum not a big deal you guys are just making a big deal out of nothing here just trying to tear our game down when this company straight up stole the designs in response yeah. to Tranqui slick call tranquilo papi pulling it out thea said this papi is chill. the funniest shit i've ever seen dude why do you care <laughs> how is that always the Please the go to line. Why do you care? Ah! No, whoa, 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 whoa. I got a black screen right there. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is going on, bro? What is going on? Why do you care? Why do you care? <laughs> why do you care? So that's the damn right. Damn, man. Why, why do you care? Why do you care? Yeah, tell that to take two, man. Tell that to take two. Ever seen, dude? Why do you care? How is that always the go to Bruh. line? Why do you care? Like, it's not your game, like we do it. It's not a big deal. Why are you calling this out? Why are you calling attention to it? You just want to grift off this. You just want attention. Instead of taking any accountability for their actions whatsoever, they project 
and call other people the problem. Yeah. And quote tweeted a screenshot of Nathan and Slick conversing, talking about how this may be a DMCA notice from Take Two. And Thea said, I want to smoke their stash. It's going to be so dank. Like, these are genuine, serious concerns that the developer if they lived in reality, should be very concerned about. They should be very worried that Take-Two could take Wait action against them here. But this is the problem when your game is funded by the European Union and government that ultimately, yeah. you don't care. You have yeah. no accountability. Yeah, there's no fear. It's like, who cares, bro? The next time we're, we're gonna make another game, Norwegian government's gonna pay us and they're gonna fund us. We are strong, we are independent, yay! Right, and, and they're gonna be using uh, uh, taxpayer money to do that crap again. Yeah, bro, go figure, man, go figure. It, wh what era are we living in? Holy crap, bro, like, I, I would say this, right? I, 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 I always say this, but because it's true. I always say this because it's true, right? Like, damn, man, like, two years ago, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. And two years ago, I said that, yo, two years ago, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. And right now, I'm like, Two months ago, my G, it wasn't even that bad. It's getting worse, right? As time goes on, it's getting worse and worse and worse. Where are the games, bro? Where are the good games? Gamers demand games. We demand good games. We just want good games, man. We just want good games. And the fact that you ask for good games, D sec is gonna be like, nah, man, you're toxic. You're problematic. You're a me. You're a menace to society and all that. Man, like, it wasn't this bad, bro. Like, two months ago, it wasn't this bad. Yes, we had the BBC Samurai, the gay BBC Samurai situation. That was raging wildfires. I'm talking about uh, the Assassin's Creed, right? Yeah, they always do that. Every time they put a black character in the game, they always make him gay, right? Like, go figure. Like, uh, yeah, am I the only one noticing that? They always do that in movies, in games. Yeah, as soon as there's a black character, gotta make him gay. Yeah, they always do that, right? Uh, so we, we had the Assassin's Creed and on top the Yasuke situation, right? We're hearing he's a real life person, but Thomas Lockley made crap up about him where he's not a he was not a samurai, but they made him a samurai. And ultimately what we learned is that he was not gay in real life. If he was in real life, then totally makes sense to make him gay in the game. We've talked about it a million times, right? Now, this situation happened, and we were talking about it like, yeah, yeah, it was raging wildfires two months ago. And I'm pretty certain that when the game gets closer to launch, and when it's about to come out, or after it comes out, it's gonna be raging. <laughs> it's gonna be raging wildfires once again. So yeah, that's, some, that's something that we all know. It's known fact, okay? We're gonna cover that story for sure. Because these suckers always do that, right? They're being ultra racist toward the Japanese, towards the Asian people, right? Also being racist towards the black people as well, right? Uh, using black people and ultimately making them gay. And also using the LGD, uh, LGTV people as shields as well. And they always make them ugly in the game, right? If you're part of LGTV right now, right? I got love for everybody, uh, to, be, uh, to be fair though. I got love for everybody as long as you're not someone that's a freak right but think about it this way right if you're part of the lgtv crowd just just ask yourself this question why do they always make you ugly though there yeah this is what they did right like this is xbox fable game right so they designed that character right like yeah uh there it's a man apparently dressed up as a female and they're calling him uh, a female right i'm not sure about the pronouns maybe it's they them i don't know okay i don't know i don't know right they always make you guys look ugly in the game right they always do that so they these suckers are crazy these suckers are all, all about hey inclusion inclusion diversity we, uh, we we love everybody nah bro they don't like anybody they just want to include people that uh, the one that they want okay it's inclusion just for them they don't care about you right you're brown you're white you're black nah they don't give a damn i, I would even go as far as to say even if you're part of the lgtv crowd they don't even care about you bruh like, there's so many alphabets, so that's why I'm saying LGTV. It's like LGBTQP. Da, da, do, de, da, da, da. Yeah, it's just so many, like, words after that. Bruh. So we're just going to condense it to LGTV, right? Just uh, that. But 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 see, like, the, these things are crazy, man. All about inclusivity, but they don't even include anybody. <laughs> they exclude everybody. They're all about inclusivity, but these things cannot even believe in two different opinions. They want to believe in 5,000 genders, but they cannot believe in two different opinions. Like, damn. I, I believe that, okay, you believe there are 5,000 genders. I don't believe that. You believe that. Okay, fine. Fine. Okay, fine. But, like, these things cannot even believe in two different opinions, man. 
Pathetic. Absolutely pathetic, bro. Because it's not a proper business being run. It's not capitalism where you create something that the product is and the people want to purchase it and it's an exchange of goods for services. It makes all the sense in the world when you do it right. But when you interject the government and taxpayers and funding to produce a game, then all morals and ethics get thrown out the window because they don't care about the sales. They already got their money. Thea yeah, continued, yeah. I'm sorry to inform you that GTA 5 uses paid pre-made assets. Boo. And Splash replied, <laughs> pre-made assets taken from whose games? Their own. Like, this is the problem when you have no accountability and I, you're a late... I boo-boo. Easy ass developer just stealing designs and shit from other games. You have zero accountability for what you did wrong and you project all your issues anywhere else. And huge shout out to Madam Savvy on Twitter that is doing the Lord's work when it comes to covering yeah. Dustboard. Okay, so that's Ma Madam Savvy, right? Yeah, apparently what we're hearing is that she put like seven hours into the game. Yeah, even <laughs> Yeah, she's a hero. She's a hero. I got a salute, okay? Madam Savvy, if you're watching, you know, okay, the wrong sound effect. Don DeMarco, real quick for you. We salute you. We salute you out there. Yeah, you're a hero. You're a hero. You shouldn't have done this, but you did. You took an extra mile. I would, I would go as far as to say you took an extra 10 miles. Crazy. She has been playing it on her YouTube channel and suffering through it like it is a very hard struggle session to get through dustboard based off of what i've seen from it so far she has taken one mustache? for mustache? all of us for playing it mustache mustache what the hell and she put an epic tweet out there saying i didn't think the dustborn giggles could get any more silly here's one of the designers quote tweeting someone calling them out for copying the gta apartment interior to a near exact t this is incredible during gameplay, I would make quips about things being stolen and no original thought put into anything, but I didn't think it would be this shameless. The profile stating villain era sort of explains everything though. <laughs> yeah, okay, so there's a button to retrieve it as well? What the hell? What the hell? Check this. Shameless. The profile stating villain era sort of... <laughs> Yo, her reaction tells it all. <laughs> her reaction tells it all. explains everything, though. Given the game presents villains as good guys, you can briefly see from their feed that they look down upon crowdfunding and would much rather use taxpayer dollars that could have gone to, say, a school, a yeah. rent-assist program, or something that could benefit society. Yeah. The player yeah. count really society. does make sense, though. No original thought, so no one is really interested. Not even the target audience. Game design is part of storytelling. I love looking at environments and seeing what choices people make. But when you straight up rip things and do not change any of the design, it tells me you are lazy and do not care about your product. This eight years, bro. Eight years funded by the government. What these suckers? What these suckers were doing? Like giving each other hand jobs, like BJ's, like that, or what? What? What was going on? Smelling each other farts, doing helicopters all day. In studios, what were these suckers doing, man? Like, damn, eight years. Eight, eight years. Eight years. I sound like blame truth with that three years, 3,000 devs with the Call of Duty situation, right? But yeah, bro, like, damn, damn. I want to also show you the Asmund gl a gold clip as well. It was apparent from the story, but the lazy mindset is mirrored everywhere in this game slash visual novel. It is a shame they took advantage of a governmental program, but these types always aim to do that because no one else will Breh. fund them. Oh well, lesson learned. Absolute burn by Savvy, completely dismantling Red Thread Games, the team behind creating Dustborn. The community is up in arms. She based, she based. About this and Twitter is going wild. The critics have argued that when the game's design borrows so heavily from existing works without adding any new elements it not only reflects a lack of creativity from these quote-unquote developers but also a blatant disregard for the gaming community's expectations for innovation give us back the <laughs> give us back those 150k please man Man, like that is insane story. Never have I ever thought that we would be like seeing a day where a government funds a game like that and they use that money, taxpayer money, mind you, taxpayer money, and ultimately they would steal assets from GTA, call the fans toxic, the game wouldn't even get a hundred people, uh, peak people, right? A hundred peak playing the game. 
eight years in the making, by the way. And, and this is what happened. IGN finally goes mask off is what Esmond Gold says. Roll it. The taste of victory. The co-reporter who mistranslated the IGN hit piece on Black Myth Wukong is a little salty about the game's success. Context. A few months ago, we discussed the IGN hit piece on the Black Myth Wukong devs. The article's the, premise relied the on game. several mistranslations, like, for example, devs. The article's premise relied on several mistranslations, like, for example, I want to expand my circle and hire more people. Get licked until I can't get an erection. Now, the IGN translator had some comments on Wukong's release, but there's also other tweets by this person that resurfaced before Key's account went private. White gamers have zero nuance, zero understanding of the world, and it'll forever be like this because the world bends over to meet their ex- As a brown man, I'm sick and tired of everybody playing the race card right now, bro. <laughs> Everybody, like, holy crap, bruh. White gamers. Yo, where are my white gamers at, though? <laughs> Dude, this is crazy, man. Expectations. And if they're upset, they just scream at their targets until everything works miraculously in their favor. Do I hate white people? Yes. And if you're a friend, you'll understand why this is never personal. I hate white privilege so much. Their ability to scream, reverse racism when faced with a tiny bit of criticism. The world revolves around them, even in Singapore, every day. And this is the person IGN decided to hire to translate, then construct a whole hit piece. Now, now don't get me wrong, right? Like, there are bad apples everywhere. There are bad apples in the white trees. There are bad apples in the black trees. There are bad apples in the brown trees. There are also bad apples in purple trees, though. Right? There are bad apples everywhere, though, but, like, you cannot, like, target everybody, right? But to be fair, though, it happens every day. It happens every day. You know, like, one white person does something bad, all white people bad. One black guy does something bad, every black... All the black people bad. One brown guy do something bad, all the brown people bad. It happens in religions all the time as well. Like, one guy... Y you know what I mean, right? It's like every race, every religion would then get labeled. And, and I don't like that, but it'd be like that. It is like that. It has been like that. I'm not sure if it's ever gonna stop, but... Surrounded. It's like that. I'm so fucking pissed off. Here we go. I'm so fucking pissed off. This, this has, has gone, gone too far. far. Don't play Black Myth Wukong. Do not play it. If you must, go and pirate it. it uh, tell that to 10 million people that actually bought the game. If you enjoy it. I do not want to know it. Fuck game science and all the grifters who are doing this to one of my favorite people in the industry. Man. I want to look at the replies favorite. and big surprise it's privated. All these people are so scared of any criticism. Well, these people, again, I want to let you guys know that uh, if these people could, they would bully you off the internet and they would debase and degrade you to the point to where like you couldn't have a platform anymore and you couldn't like anything that you wanted to like. And so nice, never feel nice. bad about being critical of them on, on social media. I don't think that you should harass them. Like, yeah. obviously, D don't send heaven proposals or anything like that. But what he's saying is facts. The harassment is bad. But like uh, disagreeing with people publicly like this and shitting on them on the Internet. Totally fucking fair. That's called public discourse. And if you have a problem with it, delete your account. Guys, check out this video on the screen. This recently just was discovered. Apparently, they are losing 200,000 US dollars per player. Is I don't know how is that even possible, but apparently that's what we're hearing. Check out this video on the screen. Insane drama. <laughs> Insane drama. Okay, check this out. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left. We got some good news. We got some new gameplay leaks, high leaks for GTA 6 and all that. Check it out. I'll see you right